Yo, there's a rose and red brick, fenties and flying, it's bronze, bronze and retros, even the three zeros, a little bit of lunar to move you when you start feeling it, a sneaker for the summer so they know who got the fly kicks. Really, it's a lot of it. Hopefully, you've been rocking those. I'm chilling with the rapping because really, it's time to start the show. Let's go. Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this week, it feels a little bit like Air Max Month Part 2, but it also has some nice performance kicks mixed in there as well that may or may not have been on your radar. Either way, let's start with the Air Max, because those are probably gone or almost gone by now. Anyway, uh, Nike dropped the Air Max Silver Bullet Pack today, which were all inspired by the Air Max 97. In addition to the 97, the pack included the Air Max 95, which is my favorite, and included the Air Max Zero and the Air Max Plus. The pack dropped in both men's and women's sizes, all of which rocked the metallic silver shaded upper. As of this video, there were very few pairs left, so if you do want to cop a pair over at Finish Line, you better hustle up and make sure you make that happen. Uh, staying on the Nike side of the fence, the Lunar Epic Flyknit is dropping today as well. The colorway is a simple black and white, or Oreo, as anything in that color combination is called these days. And you can grab a pair of those over at Finish Line for men and women for $175. Also coming from Nike is a new version of the Nike Free that hasn't been getting a lot of buzz, the Nike Free Run motion flyknit. As you can see, Nike added a cross strap over the midfoot that I'm guessing will provide better lockdown for your foot in comparison to the normal uh, Nike free run. These will be dropping for both men and women as well in a couple of colorways and you can grab those for $150. As has been the case the last few weeks, Puma has been locking down the ladies with their Fenty line with Rihanna. This week is no different as they have two pairs of the Fenty Bow sneaker dropping in two bright colors. One is Sweet Lavender, or purple as I would call it, and the other is Pink Tint. Both pairs feature the big bow instead of the laces and will cost you $160. If you just want a pair of Fenty slides, you can grab those as well in the color that Puma is calling Marshmallow. You can pick those up at Finish Line as well for $90. Jumping to Friday, we have a sneaker that has actually been bubbling up on the low, the Nike PG1. I have yet to rock a pair, but most of the opinions I have seen about this shoe online are overwhelmingly positive with a lot of love for this black ice colorway of the shoe. I don't think it hurts that the PG1 is only $110 and looks good in that low cut style. The official colorway is black, white, and hyper turquoise, and they are available starting on Friday. Staying with the Friday vibes, Nike Sportswear is giving us an air more up tempo in the incognito colorway, or triple black. As most of you know, a collab on the shoe is coming in the near future, and this is your opportunity to get in before the hyper really starts to shut things down. Those are gonna cost you $160. If you're focused on performance, Jordan Brand has a little something in the stash with the Air Jordan 31 Low. The color code for this one is just black and white, but to me, that toe box almost looks pink a little bit to me. Uh, those will cost you $160 on Friday. Looking ahead to Saturday, we have a lot of kicks dropping. First, on the New York side of things, Adidas is dropping the D-Rose 7 Boost. The Rose line hasn't been getting a lot of coverage, but it is still a great performer on the court. Those will cost you $140 over at Finish Line. If you like red kicks, you actually have two options this weekend, the LeBron 14 or the Kyrie 3. Nike Basketball is calling the LeBron 14 the Red Brick Road colorway, and they say it's inspired by the bricks at the edge of his high school. Those will cost you $175. The Kyrie 3, on the other hand, is actually the same pair that Irving wore at the NBA three-point contest, and many thought they were not actually going to release, but obviously that wasn't true because they're releasing this Saturday, and they'll cost you $120. For you Curry fans, the Curry 3-0 is dropping this weekend. Now this is Steph's uh, playoff version of the Curry 3, and you can grab those in the Team Royal colorway for 120. And if you want to get your summer kicks a bit early, Jordan Brand is dropping the Air Jordan 11 University Blue. These arrive at finish line on Saturday, and as with almost every Jordan 11, these might be a hot ticket this weekend, so make sure you stay on it. For those who are going to pick these up, you can grab a pair for $175. Yo, as with every week, there may be a few other things that drop, but I just wanted to make sure I gave you guys the quick highlights on the stuff that I thought you would be paying attention to. As always, I am Jacques Slade. This is The Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, I appreciate you. Make sure you turn on your notifications for this channel so you know what's popping right here all the time. I'll see you soon. Peace.